edge loops versus edge rings. Okay. So to start out with, let's go to Create, Polygon Primitives, Interactive Creation Off. Click a cube. You get a perfect cube. And two of the main tools I use within Maya are the Extrude tool and the Insert Edge Loop tool. In fact, I use these tools so much, I've assigned them to hotkeys on my keyboard. To do so, you just go to Settings and Preferences, Hotkey Editor. Those commands are in the Edit Mesh window. Down below, we have Poly Extrude. And you can see my current hotkey is Control E. Okay, I'll remove this so I can redo it. So Control E Assign. Just like that. And the Insert Edge Loop tool is right here. I've assigned that to Control R. Okay, let's see how we use these tools. First off, right click and go to Face, grab a face. Now with that extrude, we could just Control E to extrude it, and we get the 3D widget. Now this widget allows you to adjust the extrude after the fact. But if you want to uniformly scale it to the center, it's kind of awkward. Okay, So sometimes after we extrude, so I'm undoing this, we just off click, go to face, highlight it, and go to scale. This way we can uniformly scale to the center. The 3D widget allows you to do that also sometimes, but grabbing it into the center is kind of awkward. And there'll be many a time where you're going to decide whether to use the widget or just use one of the W, E, R commands on the keyboard. So move, rotate, scale, W, E, R. This is an edge ring. Okay. To highlight an edge ring, you could just go to edge, highlight one edge of the edge ring, control right click, edge ring utilities, to edge ring. You can also convert that to faces by just control right click, to faces. Two faces. Okay, so very easy. Again, edge, control right click, edge ring utility, two edge ring, control right click, two faces, two faces. Quick and easy. Now, in the center here, this is an edge loop, but this edge loop doesn't go around the geometry. So, an edge loop is this. Control R would be insert edge loop tool. Off click to make it possible. Also that command is here. Now you can highlight an edge by just double clicking it. can move it along its path. There's also a command called um, slide edge loop tool. Sometimes I use this, not very often, but it's nice to know where it's at. You can just middle mouse button, click and drag, and it will slide the edge. That's great for an object that has like not a perfect center, or it's an odd shape. So, that's the two main things, edge loops and edge rings. If it dead ends like this, 
This is commonly commonly known as an extraordinary vertice that ends in edge loop. So this will not be an edge loop. I can't double click it. I would ho have to hold shift to highlight all the edges. But this one being an edge loop, I can quickly double click on it. Now, very important to know that you should never delete an edge loop without using um, a command in here. Okay, so here's the command. First, highlight one of the edge. Control right click, edge loop utilities, to edge loop and delete. Let's see what happens if I do not do that. I'm going to insert an edge loop, and this time I'm just going to double click it and hit delete. Looks about the same thing, right? But if you right click on this and go to uh, vertice or vertex, you're going to find that there are vertices hanging out for no apparent reason. So it's an extra step to get rid of those by hitting delete. And if you forget those, you're in trouble. Later on down the road, it could yield bad results. Here's another thing that students do all the time, uh, the extrude and run. Okay, They'll grab a face and extrude it, and then get sidetracked and forget they extruded it. The only way to see this mistake is you right click on it and go to face. And you'll see that nothing looks bad here. Okay, but if you pull this out, you're going to see that there there is an a there is a hidden face here and it's just too close to see. One of the things I always tell students to turn on is display polygons. There's a thing called face centers. Okay? Now with face centers, you can quickly and easy easily debug this, you can see that yes indeed there is a face that's hit out here because I have that right there showing up. How do you repair something like that? Very easy. Go to vertice, highlight all the vertices in that area that make up this co combined face and then go merge. Okay, there we go. Now the merge command merges vertices, but they merge only close rela closely related vertices, so it will not merge like this vertice and this vertice, because they're too far apart. Perfect. All right, so those are that's edge ring and edge loop and some of the common problems that I see all the time with students using the two tools. Enjoy.